Raptors of the Rockies was established in 1988, so almost 25 years ago, and we've been steadily doing education programs uh, up to 80 a year. It was 82 was a record, but about 70 programs a year. Um, done 1,400 programs for students and the public. Well, we get birds that are injured, that have a permanent injury and they can't be released to the wild, but they still look good and they do good programs and good education. And that's what they're used for is education programs. And uh, some birds are used in 40 programs a year, others 20. Uh, well, my favorite bird actually is the pig owl and the barn owl. Uh, Elisa is a three-year-old red-tailed hawk, and she is a, a red morph. She's a really dark red color face, and she, her vision is really bad. When we got her, she was totally blind um, as a fledged bird, and now she is uh, part of our teaching team. She can see well enough to get around in her building, but not well enough to release. So she's sort of our workhorse. She does all the art projects. She's a good model. I also the great horned owl eats mice and other rodents. I think we've had him like 13 years, something like that, and he's missing, he's missing four of his flight feathers on one wing, so he can't fly very. He can fly, but not well enough to release. We don't know how old he is. He came in as an adult, but most of the other birds come in as hatch year birds. They're young birds that made a mistake, because most raptors in the wild die. <laughs> But they have a huge mortality because they have to catch things that don't want to get caught. And uh, that's hard to do. They don't just go to a bird feeder and eat seed. There's other predators that want to kill them. They have to, to preen their feathers and bathe and look good and learn where to roost at night or during the day for owls so they don't get killed by other predators. And then a lot of them have to migrate and that's a tough thing. So they have a, a huge, what we call, mortality rate. And that's where we get most of these birds as the first year birds that have made a mistake. Graham, Graham, the bar barred owl, um, actually is a carnivore too. And she also eats small rodents, but I was, but he, and he's still molting. Some birds are handled a lot more than others and they just get used to it. Um, other birds, I take them out. Like the, the sharp shin hawk, I'll just go get grab her, put her jesses on, put her in a, in a travel crate, do a program, and she'll stand there, be good, and then I leave her alone the rest of the year. So 340 days a year I leave her alone, and then for maybe 20 programs I'll take her out um, and use her for education. And she's comfortable in her building, and she looks good and eats well. and. So that's what I enjoy doing. Owls are nocturnal animals, and uh, some birds can be blind, and they even a little bit if they lose a, a wing, like a tiny bit of wing tip, they can still kind of get them off balance, and that's kind of how that bald eagle fell. Sun, you mean Sunny? Yes, yeah, Sunny. The bald eagle Sunny came to us exactly a year ago. I think it was. It might have even been July uh, of 2011, and uh, he was found. Um, actually on the bank of a river uh, with a, main, a wing tip missing and Rob Dominich from Raptor View Research Institute went to go get him and grabbed him with a net <laughs> as he was jumping into the river. Wow. Yeah, so anyway, they brought him over here. And he's, he was, uh, we kept him in a smaller enclosure for a while and then when we got him on our permit and put him in with the other eagles, um, there's just a little tension with him and Max, and they're still working things out. But uh, he eats and he bays and preens and looks good, but he won't probably be glove trained. I'll just keep him for education here at the Raptor Ranch. But um, he is missing a wingtip, so he won't. That'll and that doesn't grow back. That's what they do to parrots. To see the homing pigeons, how they she let them out all at once. They all came out like 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 an army. Only it was airplanes, and they flew around and around, and they flew really, really, really fast. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, you don't see that every day. And then they come back. They know always know where to come back. They know their home. So that's cool. The Owen the Diddle Owl. Owen's he's cute. so adorable. I think I forget what kind of owl he is, but he's pygmy. Sure. 
I did. I like iPod. Yeah. Conferences in Argentina next year, Corpus Christi the next year. So kind of a big international um, program. Plus, I'm doing these programs around here. I'm going to keep doing assemblies every two years for K through five. So if we have to do a few takes, that's fine because it's not like we're. Sh what are we shooting? We're, we're shooting uh, on the the cards. HD. Oh, cards! Oh, oh cards. man. That's, that's cool. It was fun learning about birds and um, what happened to them. And... No. The bald eagle was found at Clinton Hot Springs. So is this all we do? Or do you ask questions? No, you can ask your question. Don't don't pause it. Just all ask right. your question. So what did you think about raptors of the rock? I learned um, some new bird species that I've never <laughs> known about before. And that was pretty fun. So. Like what bird species? Already. Oh, yes. Um, okay, I never mind. I have one. Sorry. Um, the, um, what's his name? Gret Graham. What did you enjoy most? Quiet on set! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> That's all right. Thank you. That's all. All right, thanks.